What's up guys? So real quick, I want to make a video about Makuna Pruens, also known as Velvet Bean. Uh, my cute little cat wants to be in the video, huh? I love Makuna. Makuna is an awesome medicinal herb. It's been used in Chinese medicine and actually Ayurveda, I believe, actually for thousands of years. Um, it is amazing for boosting your motivation and your focus and also your just your your feelings of well-being and your mental clarity. Um, I've used Makuna Purins on and off for about eh, like a year or so, and I've actually used it previously back in like January of 2015. And every time I use Makuna, it's almost like my whole life just like levels up. Um, you know. Everything in my life is so much more enjoyable, um, like any kind of lethargy or um, just lack of enthusiasm for life just like completely goes away. <laughs> um, and so, you know, that's mostly because Makuna is well known for increasing dopamine. Many people call it the dopamine bean uh, because it does contain obviously L-dopa and different extracts are going to contain different amounts of L-DOPA. But more importantly, a lot of people don't know it actually contains uh, certain compounds such as MAOI inhibitors and whatnot that actually keep uh, dopamine from breaking down as fast. So it slows the, slows the breaking down of dopamine and allows your dopamine to stay in the periphery for much longer. Um, so it has a lot of precursors and other things to help support healthy dopamine levels. And it really regulates all functions of dopamine, everything from uh, your appetite your, to your sexual interests, your focus, your motivation, your happiness and well-being. It's a really powerful and amazing herb. For me personally, I feel like it's the missing piece. And I feel like it's the herb that I've really been looking for for a long time. Now, here's the thing that a lot of people, you know, have to understand is that um, you know, when you're using medicinal herbs, they're not supposed to make you feel like you're on drugs. There are a lot of them that can, and if you take uh, certain types of Makuna, certain extracts, maybe it could do that, um, especially if you mix it with medications and if you mix it with other herbs, I don't recommend that at all, but I do personally think it mixes very well with uh, Ginkgo Biloba, and I highly recommend mixing Makuna Purins and Ginkgo Biloba together. I use a Now Foods brand of both of them, and it works amazing. Um, the Hyperion Herbs Extract of Makuna is also great. Anyway, um, it's not supposed to affect you like a drug, like your Himbi or something, making you jittery and shit like that. For me, it actually it makes me feel more relaxed, and it keeps me feeling uh, more motivated and more focused. Again, it's not like Adderall or something. It's not like a drug that makes you feel jittery or that has like a substantial effect. It, you know, for me, I recognize it because it's like the tendency to be more focused and motivated and the tendency towards feeling good is much higher taking, taking Makuna. Um, whereas, you know, like you take Adderall and you're just like, zoned in and focused. Actually, I've never taken Adderall, so I can't really say that. Um, or like caffeine, where you feel high. Like, Makuna, for me at least, makes me feel relaxed, yet calm, confident, motivated, and just, um, you know, less stressed, less anxious, and just on top of things, clear. And, and, and just like, everything's cool. Um, you know, everything's calm, uh, but I'm enjoying everything. Like, I'm enjoying everything, um, but not in, like, a drug. Like, oh, yeah, I'm, like, manic, like, freaking out type of way. So, you know, a lot of people who take Makuna, they might say, oh, I don't feel any different. And that's just because they're not the type of person to feel the effects of different foods on their body and stuff like that. And it's not, since it's not like a drug, they're, they're so used to, like, these... Um, extreme drugs with extreme effects or extreme tasting foods with artificial flavors um, you know they don't know how to taste the sweetness of an apple you know 
Uh, Apple's not sweet enough for them. Makuna is not strong enough for them. You know, 200 milligrams of caffeine is not strong enough for them. You know, uh, green tea just doesn't give them the kick they need. They got to smoke meth or something. Like, the point is, so, uh, you know, Makuna is not going to make you feel like you're on a drug or something. Now, uh, so anyway, it's an amazing herb and or bean and it just makes you feel on top of things it's great i think everyone should try it just i would say the now foods extract it's called uh macuna dopa it's only like 10 15 bucks and uh i would say take i would say take try, take four pills in the morning is what i would do and mix it with now foods gingo biloba and i say take one gingo biloba in the morning and take another gingo biloba like in the afternoon or something um, so there are a lot, there are some people who say that Makuna makes them feel anxious or it makes them feel, um, like angry or irritable or something. To be honest, I think, you know, it's possible that different people are going to have different effects from, you know, herbs that directly affect dopamine. But I also think a lot of people, they nocebo themselves. I think it's a nocebo effect for a lot of people because I myself used to have hypochondria and I used to expect uh, something that increased dopamine to be like meth or something or make me feel like I'm on a drug or make me feel like freaking out and stuff. And so if you expect an herb to have a negative effect, it will have a negative effect. The same thing goes for uh, a lot of foods and other things too. Like for example, vegans, they think meat's like gonna give them a heart attack. And so I've heard of a lot of vegans who claim, uh, like after they started reading about health and meat and heart disease, they would uh, eat a piece of meat and then immediately feel pain in their heart. <laughs> or it was, or eggs, they'd, they'd eat an egg and then they'd immediately feel pain in their, in their heart. Is that because an egg just automatically caused heart disease in like 15 seconds? Or is it because they nocebo'd themselves into feeling heart pain? It's well documented and I think that that's what happens for a lot of people. Um, a lot of people have anxiety to begin with and they're trying to use Makuna in order to treat their anxiety. <laughs> but then like because they have anxiety, they're, they're anticipating negative things, which is what anxiety really is. And... And then, like, you know, they're surprised when Makuna, free, you know, freaks them out or whatever. And it's not the effects of Makuna necessarily. It's their, it's their expectation. But anyway, uh, I do think that it's possible that a lot of people don't need Makuna. And I think that it's possible that a lot of people might have negative effects. I don't think that it's because Makuna is bad. I think it's because, some, you know, different people require different... Uh, you know, treatments or what have you. And Makuna might not be right for everyone. Um, you know, some people might be better with something that increases serotonin, like St. John's wort or uh, 5-HCP or something, right? For me, I, I definitely prefer dopamine boosting herbs better. So anyway, if you guys have any experiences with Makuna, please do post them down below. Let me know what you all think. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.